Hey, what's up guys? Professional outdoor photographer David Johnson here. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite ways to take creative outdoor photographs, and that's by using filters. Now, filters are a great way to extend exposures, manipulate time, manipulate light, and really try out some creative aspects of outdoor photography. So we're gonna get straight into the first filter, which is a circular polarizer. You know, using a circular polarizer is a great way to help you get more creative foregrounds and compositions in your photography because they allow you to adjust the foreground or adjust the reflection on the water. Not only that, they do give you the slight ability to lengthen your exposure just a little bit. So circular polarizers are basically polarized sunglasses that you can put onto your camera's lens. Now, circular polarizers work in a way that allow you to add or remove the amount of reflection on the surface of the water. This allows you to see through the water if you wanna create some really interesting compositions, showing some foregrounds that are slightly beneath the water surface, as well as create a little bit of lengthening in your exposure to show that milky white water, specifically in waterfalls. Now, they are typically used with waterfall photography, but you can also use them in other types. One of the big benefits of a circular polarizer is that when you spin the dial on the polarizer itself, it allows you to move or shift that reflective surface. So if you want to remove the reflection on the surface of the water, you just spin that until you can see through the water. If you wanna add some reflection to the surface of the water, you continue to spin that until you see more reflection. But let's say you want an even sky all the way across. What do you use? Well, to shift gears a little bit, Let's look at how a graduated neutral density filter or sometimes called a grad ND filter can help your photography. So graduated ND filters are a great way to reduce the amount of light that's in your sky. You know, a lot of times in outdoor photography, you're dealt situations with some pretty dark foregrounds and then some pretty bright skies. This occurs specifically close to the times of sunrise and sunset when you have a lot of dynamic range going on. I have in my hand a Grad ND filter from Haida filters, and what they basically do is make an adjustment to your sky using a darkened half piece of glass. Now, basically what you do to use this is you insert this right in front of your lens and then adjust it to where the horizon line on the Grad ND filter is to where it's on the horizon of your landscape or the horizon of whatever you're shooting outdoors. So adjusting this up and down gives you the ability to darken your sky while keeping an appropriately lit or exposed foreground. Now let's say you wanna darken the entire scene completely and you want to take a really long exposure without using something like a Grad ND filter, well then we can go with a typical neutral density filter or ND filter. So what I have with me here is a 10 stop ND filter. Now, ND filters really help you lengthen those exposures to create very interesting compositions. It allows you as an outdoor photographer to completely manipulate time to your advantage. This is the filter you use when you see those really long exposures, streaking clouds across the sky, blurring out foregrounds and people moving along the walkways or the streets, and also creating some really compelling lighting situations using reflections to your advantage in the outdoor scene. Now, one of these can be very difficult to use. For example, the one I'm holding in my hand is a 10-stop ND filter that completely occludes any light getting into your lens except for something like a two, five, even a 10-minute exposure. So setting your camera up can be kind of difficult to do this. Always keep in mind when you're using an ND filter, especially something like a 10-stop ND filter, you have everything set up before you attach this to your lens. So what am I talking about? You have your exposure set up, you have your ISO, you have your aperture set up, and you have your lens set to manual focus, already focusing everything to the scene that's in front of you. 
because once you attach this to the end of your lens, you're not going to be able to see very well when you look into your viewfinder. So if your camera tries to focus while this is on, your shot's going to be completely out of focus. So that's why you wanna use manual focus to take a correctly exposed shot and correctly focused shot for an ND filter. Now, it's also a good idea to get something like a remote shutter or a cable release. That way you can put your exposure on bulb mode and set a timer. And when you lock this in place, it has a hold feature that allows you to take a photo as long as this hold is locked down. So I can shoot as long as I want, as long as the holds is locked down and it's plugged into my camera correctly. So these are really gonna be your three main types of filters that you can use for your outdoor photography, a great way to manipulate time and light and to use those things as an advantage for you as a photographer, but it's not the only way that you can use these. So now we know various ways that we can use filters in outdoor photography individually, but there's so much more that we can accomplish with filters and get creative with filters using the knowledge that we now have. So filters are great to pair together in an outdoor scene. If you need to lengthen an exposure and you want to photograph something really well, but you also want to darken the sky, then you can do things like pair an ND filter and pair a grad ND filter together to achieve that, darkening the sky or taking a longer exposure than you originally could. Now that you can use an ND filter paired with a grad ND filter, it gives you the ability to do that. But you can also do things like pair circular polarizers and ND filters together. So when you do this, what you can do is pair something like this, which is an ND64 plus a polarized lens, which is basically like a less powerful ND filter that's paired with a circular polarizer and then something like a 10 stop ND filter and use those together. Using filters together is a more creative way that you as an outdoor photographer have the ability to get creative with the knowledge that you have, with the gear that you have, so that you can improve your compositions, improve your light, improve your color, and improve your overall photography by thinking critically about filters and how to use them best in the field. Hey guys, filters are a great way to improve your photography and take more creative photographs that make people stop and say, how is that even possible? That's our goal as outdoor photographers, using things to our advantage to manipulate time, manipulate light, and use what we know to create very compelling photographs and compositions. Practice makes perfect using filters. So next time you're in the field, Start practicing with some of your filters, whether that be a grad ND filter, an ND filter, or a circular polarizer, or even combining some of them together to create some really otherworldly images using long exposures and then manipulating light as well. Keep using those filters to create amazing photographs of your outdoor scenes.